Hi everyone, yeah, um, just be doing a few videos then, I uh, did a cover of a song, I was talking about um, sort of barbers and everything and about, you know, the style of men having sort of short haircuts and stuff, I even did a video about um, sort of pro-life, pro-choice or something, so yeah, take a look at those and um, yeah, I think it's important to sort of know where you, uh, where you are on important issues, I feel, like for me, it feels good to sort of talk about these topics and sort of put it out there about how, you know, my opinion of them. <clears throat> like I did a video about kind of how I feel about cars on the road a few months ago when I had a bit of a beard. I'm, I did that video because I feel quite strongly about that as well. I don't drive. I, I walk everywhere. I'm still in shorts and t-shirt in November, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Like I said, if I want to stand out, I'm certainly, I'm certainly accomplishing that. <laughs> I'm going out in shorts and t-shirt and stuff and, you know, I'm sort of growing my hair out a little bit. Which you should do in the winter anyway. I feel like, you know, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm sort of, you know, I'm wanting to grow my hair out when it's like winter and stuff. I'm surprised more men aren't doing that, but it seems like most men are addicted to having short haircuts, even if it isn't a faded haircut, just a short haircut. Like once again, each each to their own, I suppose. Um, well, there's a shadow there for some reason. But yeah, um, but yeah, I think it's um, <clears throat> it's important to kind of have that have that in you and and have that. Uh, yeah, but it depends. Like I said, with, with hairstyles and stuff, it's um, it's different. Like I said, we we all have our own opinions on that. And like I said, with important topics, it's good to get it out there because I I, I feel it feels good. Um, because yeah, it sort of feels good to sort of let people know um where I stand on these issues. It kind of it makes me feel good to sort of explain it. It makes me feel good to sort of get out of my system a little bit. Um, how I feel about certain things, and um, <clears throat> like I said, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it makes me feel good to how I feel about certain things, and um, I think it's key to let people know. Um, because I feel like I've got a, a reasonably unique standpoint on a, a lot of things and I feel like uh, it's a good mindset to get it out there um, but like I said what I'm saying isn't so unique it's more about how I feel about it um, I feel like the, the key principle is um, it doesn't matter what you think about these issues it's, it's more important about abiding by your own means so I think um, not caring what other people think so if some people watch my YouTube videos and they think oh Ali what are you on about mate <laughs> it's probably a lot of people are doing but um, it's not about that. Don't I don't care what other people think anymore. That's the thing. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't care about what other people think anymore. I'm not. I'm just. Not, I can't be bothered. Um, you can think what you like, but um, the problem is to get get out, get out of your system, and um, stay positive and stay grounded, and be happy with it, and be happy with yourself, and be happy with the life that you're living. Um, because a lot of stuff I'm talking about isn't all that unique really in the wider scheme of things. It's just stuff that means a lot to me. Whether it's cars, whether it's haircuts, whether it's pro-life, choice pro-life, whether it's books, whether it's but anything under the sun. I feel like it's good to get it out there because like I said, YouTube now is the second most viewed website in the world. It's not so much unique to want to get stuff out there and I think, yeah, I'm going to definitely do that. Um, people have their opinions and, people, and mine aren't so different to anyone else's. But um, if you want to share your thoughts, you can do. Yeah, because this platform is quite easy to do that. But it feels good, like I said. Um, I am happy. I am sort of content with with my viewpoints. I've got a lot of strong views, and I think, in a sense, they're very unique. I feel that you shouldn't hide away if you've got strong views. I think they should be shared. And, you know, I feel like the average person doesn't even post on YouTube. I think the average person doesn't do that. Like I, I still say, you know, whatever. I think so, YouTube is sort of overlooked a little bit, but. Um, I have strong view. I think I think basically the aim of a lot of a lot of what I'm talking about is to, is to be who you want to be, and it's to look how you want to look. It doesn't matter what others think of you, whether it's a certain hairstyle you want to get, whether it's your views on certain controversial issues like um, what I said previously. I think it doesn't matter what I think. That's the thing. It, it, it doesn't matter if I come up the most controversial thing ever, because the whole point is I don't care what others think. You know, I don't I don't care what others think. I have my own views, and they're unique or they're not unique or whatever. But you should, people shouldn't be relying on that. People shouldn't be relying on stuff that um, only you know it only affects them or only affects me. It's a lot of things I'm talking about. Stuff that I feel I can change, or stuff that I want to change, or stuff that I feel strongly about. Yeah, I feel strongly about a lot of these things. But um, you know, you just gotta really be positive, be positive, and not care, not care about others in the sense that neither care about others in the sense they won't want to bring you down or they might want to look upon you. No, be yourself, do what you want to do, live while you're young, be happy, be motivated, be healthy, get out, exercise, read more books. <laughs> Don't get a haircut, grow it out and be change yourself and look different. Look different and um, you won't regret it. 
Because when you look different and you change your um, <clears throat> and you change your routine, it makes you feel good. A break in your routine, a break in your um, in your routine can be a good thing, can be a positive thing, and can be a happy thing for you to do. And it makes me feel good going out looking like this one. I know most men aren't having this hairstyle. You know, most men are clean shaven, but you now going out with the sort of floppy hair sort which I'm trying to do at the moment, at least until I get a reasonably you know you know maybe number eight back in size next month, is something that feels good for me. It feels good and it helps my mental health and it makes me feel good about myself. Because I like standing out. I want to go out and stand out. That's why I'm going out in shorts and t-shirts. I want to look different. I'll look like everyone if I went out with my hoodie and trousers on with a short vest and size or perhaps faded haircut. I think I look like every other guy on the street. I'll be, I'll be able to point them out and say, every other guy walked by me. That Indian guy that looks just like me. That English guy there. That Italian guy looks just like me. That Spanish guy looks just like me. And it doesn't make me feel good knowing that I look like every Tom, Dick and Harry, even though... Even though we're all the same, really. You know, we've all got the face, same facial features. We've all got the same complexion. 85% of the world has dark brown or black hair. Even though I do feel like, you know, being an Englishman, a white a white man with very dark hair, I do feel like that's unique. So a lot of the people who do have black hair, they have a very dark pigment, whether they're Indians or if they're Chinese, they have funny eyes. <laughs> I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. I mean, you know, whatever. Or if they're black people, obviously they're black skinned. Or if they're, you know, I suppose, suppose Spanish people, Greek people, Turkish people, even then they have slightly darker skin than me. I've actually got a reasonably light skin tone. I mean, you can see in the hair how much melanin I've got on my hair. I know I've, I've got, I've got, I'm lucky in a sense because I won't say I'm lucky not to have dark skin, but you know you, people might start picking up on it. And you know what we live in, you know we still live in a pretty racist world, unfortunately. So we live in a speciesist world. So we live in a racist world and a sexist world. And skin tone seems to be the key sort of reason why people um, discriminate. Not so much hair colour, hair. Co although you know I'm sort of tall, dark, and handsome. Five foot five, tall, dark, and handsome. Am I five foot five, tall, dark, and handsome? Yeah, I suppose isn't it. But whatever. Yeah, I think people have just got to live by the means and be happy for themselves. And um, don't think what others think. Get on with life, get enjoy it, get stuck in, and you won't regret it. You won't regret it. Be who you want to be. Love, love life, love yourself.